And if anything, bunch it up a little bit. It's okay to have some overlap and bunch it up. This tape, when it heats up outside and the metal heats up, this tape is actually going to flow a little bit. So it'll even itself up and with the pressure of the window as well, it'll uh, even itself out and, and really give you a nice seal. So we're going all the way around the window. Make sure your flange is pretty clean when you go to install this. You should have most of the dust off, you know, wipe it down with a rag. You can use some acetone. Now, when we come back to the bottom of the window, we're going to peel back some of the backing on the tape here. We'll go a few inches, and it doesn't matter a whole lot, but how exactly how far, but I'd say at least half an inch is what you should do, but give it some overlap there and then break it off. So we've got our putty tape on the window. So now all we have to do is take the window outside, we'll peel the backing off like so before we stick it on, and then we'll put the window in place. So don't forget, we've got the edge of the window painted, the cut edge. We need to go with a rag and some acetone around the perimeter of the window about an inch or so, maybe even a little further to clean all the dust and dirt off because this putty tape is going to be sticking to that outside surface. So we don't want a bunch of gunk on there when we stick it on. So we'll peel the putty tape, wipe the edge down, stick the window in place, and then we'll come inside and install the clamp ring. So let's get this puppy finished. All right, so the window is in, fits pretty well. What I'm doing is actually taking some paint sticks. This is what we ended up using to space the windows. They do have little plastic pieces. That is the correct way to do it. And you can space the sides, the top, bottom, all that stuff. But that is not what we're using. We're using little pieces of wood. So I'm just sliding those in so that we get the correct spacing as the rest of the windows we used. All right, we got our little spacers in. I'm just kind of lining up the edges here. So the clamp ring has a better chance of going in right. Spacer's still in the bottom. A lot of times clamp rings will come with this metal clip on the bottom. You actually are supposed to take that off. So what that little clip does in the middle makes moving the clamp rings around easier because they're not flopping all over the place. Less chance of it getting bent. So take that sucker off. Joint goes in the bottom portion of the window. So when we put the clamp ring on, we're gonna to fit it around, do a, kind of a rough fit in there so it's somewhat snug. And then what I'm gonna do is take just one screw and there is a right way to do this. And I'm not saying that this way is the right way. This is the way that I've found that works for me. The professionals are gonna, <laughs> I almost guarantee you say otherwise. Do it however you wanna do it, as long as it gets the job done. So what's been working for me is, uh, I can hardly see, I have so much dust on my glasses. All right, so I start on the edge and I make sure the screw goes into that channel we were talking about earlier. And I screw that sucker in. And then I go to the other end and put the screw in and I make sure that it gets inside that flange. Screw it in. I don't tighten them down all the way. Now the reason I started on either end is that it gives me flexibility here in the middle. So what I can do is flex the middle out so that the two edges are in line with each other and then push it in. And that gives me a nice tight joint in the center, which is what you want. So I know that the right and left sides are lined up right now. The inside portion of the clamp ring is lined up with the with the flange of the window. And so now I'm just gonna make sure the rest of it's lined up as I go around. So let's do that. All right, so we're working our way around. These don't all have to be really tight right now. 
You can kind of put them in part of the way and we can go around and tighten them later. So we're just making sure that the inside portion of the clamp ring is lined up all the way around so that the screws are seating right in the window. Now another little trick with some of these windows being that they were used, it meant that there were already screw holes in that flange. And so the screws weren't really grabbing tight. So another little trick with these being that they're self-drilling and these frames are aluminum, you could actually just put the tip anywhere. It doesn't have to have a hole already in the clamp ring. And you can go right through it and make your own hole. And if you need some extra grip in a certain location, it's gonna help you out. Let me just finish all these up. We'll slide the window open and close to see how it works. Hopefully when we go outside, we'll actually see some of the putty tape that we had oozing out of the edge and we can take a razor and clean that up. But that means that we have a lot of putty tape in that joint, which will keep us watertight in the years to come. Now that I already have several screws all over the place and this is all lined up, I'm just kind of going in and filling up any holes that are remaining. And then I'll go over it and I'll see which uh, screws aren't tightened down all the way and tighten those down. So the window installation, actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. There have been a few headaches here and there, but for the most part, it's been all right. Something you want to be careful with, don't try to tighten these screws too much. I'm using an impact gun, so there's a lot of torque. If you tighten them too much, you're just going to strip that little aluminum hole that you made that the threads are grabbing on, so that little flange is all that's there. You can strip that pretty easy if you turn the screw too many times, so just do it till it locks out and leave it there. That way, you don't have to put a second screw next to it. I've got all my screws in. They look pretty tight. All my screws in. The screws, by the way, all the screws came in a nice big box. I've probably got another hundred or so. Really cheap. I think I paid 20 bucks. Got all the screws I needed for all of these windows. So it's a piece of cake. So as I said, our windows are escape windows. You put the red tabs up and then the window itself folds open. So you can go ahead and hop out of there if you need to. It'll also be nice. You can always prop up the window if you want more of a breeze because obviously when you open the window, half of it's still closed. This way it gives you a lot more uh, airflow. So when you pull it closed and you put these flanges down, it grabs the window so you can't do that any longer. But these windows have screens that would stay in place there. And then it has the actual window itself that slides open and closed. Really excited about that feature. The big heavy bus windows that we had in here only folded open and they were heavy, they were tough. These ones, we have our little bug screen so we keep all the little critters out and there you go. Hopefully this little video on installing the window helps you with understanding how the windows go in in an RV. A lot of people already know how to do it. For me, I was a beginner. It was all new and I didn't have anyone to explain it to me. So I had a little bit of difficulty grasping certain aspects of it, of this. So hopefully if you're in the same boat, this helped you. If you already knew everything, <laughs> I'm sure you'll leave comments below and let me know what I did wrong. That's fine too. Maybe other people will be able to learn from your comments. At the end of the day, the window went in, it works properly, it looks halfway decent, and it's gonna function the way it was meant to be. So, thanks for watching our last window go in. Yeah, <laughs> all 10 windows in. Thanks for watching it, and if you like the video, give us a little thumbs up, it does help, and if you feel inclined to leave a comment, please do. And uh, lastly, if you haven't subscribed already, you're kind of behind the game on that one, so you better subscribe now. <laughs> We've got some more stuff coming, so. Stay tuned, thanks again, bye.